In this video, we'll be looking at the four openings drill, also known as the Meyer square. Now there's a bunch of videos already out on YouTube about this drill, but I don't know of any video that presents the drill the way Meyer actually wrote it. It's almost like people didn't actually read the book and instead just looked at this graphic here. So just to give a very brief overview of the drill itself, this drill is a series of four sets of four cuts. Each set is represented by a ring of numbers, starting with the outermost one, then two, then three, and four. The next set is one, two, three, four, on the next innermost circle, etc. Please note, the graphic in the book differs from the text. In the text, the third and fourth sets are switched, which makes more sense as now the first cut in each set just rotates around the board clockwise, while the graphic, as presented, really has no rhyme or reason that I can think of. So the first thing we have to address is using this as a solo drill. Now, I'm going to try to not editorialize on every uh, variation of this drill that I've seen, but I am going to on this one part. So using this as a solo drill, I think is fine. Like it can't hurt to do it, but this drill as presented by Meyer is a paired drill plain and simple. You're meant to attack to a partner's opening and you need a sword in front of you in order for some of this to work as intended. So you'll get a lot more out of it if you do it with a partner. But sometimes there's not a training partner handy and I think it's just fine to practice this solo as well. Coincidentally, due to the logistics of filming on the day that we did, we will be showing this drill performed solo. Now, let's move on to the setup. That is, the movements you're going to do before you make the four cuts. We are told to stand about a fathom, which is six feet, away from our opponents, and deliver a series of strokes in front of our opponent. These strokes, which Forgang translates as slash, is typically a short edge cut made upwards, usually to clear space in front of you, and to get your sword out of a lower guard and into a higher one. Once we have delivered our strokes about three times through our opponent's face, we want to finish in long point with our left foot forward. This long point position is the posture that we will be attacking from. Meyer does not instruct us to cut from any other posture. Run off and cut to the first target. For this demonstration, we will be using the first set. So first is from your upper right. We will not be waving our sword around completely through the lines. As this is a pair drill, it will stop at the midpoint when the opponent parries your sword. Once this is done, you will pull your sword back. Pulling is done by pulling the hilt back to where you want to cut from next. So, since we want to cut to the lower left opening, we want to pull back into something resembling left ox for that unterhau. The left unterhau is meant to cut through the opponent's arms, if they're in the way, and up into his jaw. You are not to cut into his abdomen. After the second cut is parried, we want to cut another unterhau to the other side. So we are going to jerk our hilt back again and throw that next cut again into his jaw. Finally, we will swing the blade around our head and cut down into the upper left opening. Once this is done, we are done with our cuts. Never does Meyer say that all 16 cuts should be done in a row. After the fourth cut, we want to end the set by safely withdrawing from our opponent. Do this by throwing a couple Zverschals as you move away. If you want to continue on to the second set or further, go ahead and start the setup again with the striking up into long point. Here's the drill performed all together at speed. That's how you do the most basic version of the four openings drill. If there's interest, I can make a video demonstrating the variations that Meyer presents in the future. Thank you, and happy practicing.